Yeah, you will come no, to the but house. Excuse me, are you married? Yeah. But she doesn't speak English. Yeah. She's okay. learning. Ah, she's learning. And um, like, have you? Are you born Muslim? Yeah. Alhamdulillah. Okay. Now, because I, you know, as I'm Christian, but I found some verses in the Quran controversial about women. And you found verses in the Quran controversial about women. Yeah. Right. I don't. I'm not an authority to discuss those. You need to be someone who is better authority to discuss those because your understanding is also when you read it from English. It's not the best translation, or it's not the best... Cont we so what is, your, what is your native language? Arabic. Arabic? Yes, yeah. But you studied Arabic. I don't... It is my language. I didn't study it. It is my main language. I didn't study okay, it. Okay, so you but know... If you go to university, yeah. and you want to know something about chemistry, and you don't know anything about university or chemistry, mm -hmm. as soon as you go into university, if you start talking about a year one student, a year two student, right, he will give you something. But that's not the right thing. If you want the proper thing, you have to go inside the university, talk to the teacher. So that's why I'm saying but actually, I'm not an authority to, to explain no, what's No, it's okay because, I mean, I'm, a, I'm having a discussion because I'm a Christian. I'm just going to be up front. I, I'm here to I'm share not the, the best gospel, person to give you. But I, I want to share with you then some information because I'm not... Because in your Quran, does it say to you that... Um, do you have a Quran with you, maybe on your no, phone? No, no, I'm just... Yeah. just but uh, you understand. We bought a and we came. But, but that's the yeah. same. We are saying it in English, and it's it's all in the meaning, it's all in the detail, it's all in the context. You need someone who knows how to explain the Quran or, or so read it. Both Arabic that's it, that's it. You have many people who are authority here who are better than me. I'm just, you know. But I, I want to share with you anyway because I'm not asking you as a scholar. I'm just saying. I know your the Quran. Quran. I've read it. I have so I, in Arabic. Does your, I have no does your with Quran it. confirm the Gospel and Torah? Um, see, when you say the Gospel, I don't know what that version. The is Bible. That's, that's the right. Bible. No, no, not this Bible. Jesus wasn't walking around with this Bible. Jesus has his own words from God. Jesus came before your Bible. Do you think Jesus was walking around with the Bible of John? Or well, Paul? Jesus came, he, but he you know. He didn't, he didn't walk. He came from the Injil, which is a different, which is a revelation from God. So what is the Jesus Injil? Jesus was not walking with the Bible from God, Paul or John. But what is, what is the Injil? It is what God has revealed to Jesus. But what did he reveal to Jesus? And that's what I'm saying. You need a better authority. Now, I want to explain to you. I want to explain because basically the portrayal of Jesus in the Quran. Um, excuse me, sir. Thank you. Do you speak English? Okay. So the portrayal of Jesus in the Quran is false. That's not false because it comes from God. But, may, but, but it's not the same Jesus. So the Bible warns us about different Jesus, right? Jesus in Jill is the good news. So Jesus Christ came to die for you to die for you have to die for me so that if you believe in him you should have eternal life that's the good news of the gospel that's the gospel but which gospel what is the gospel so that's the thing. You, what is the gospel so that's the gospel how so, do you know what you say is true so how do we know what he says is true it's tested in time we have is the bible is the most published book in history we have different uh, bibles from before the time of muhammad we have these, these, these don't mean anything michael jackson's album sold for hundred million in Europe and the most but Jesus history. was a historical right. he was a good singer Jesus Christ was a historical person Jesus Christ is a historical person and your Quran confirms the gospel and your Quran not only confirms the gospel it says that if you are in any doubt it's to say to go to people of the book doesn't it say that no no absolutely what I'm saying does it say that in your Quran, Quran does not talk about your gospel because we believe Jesus had a higher message from God called the Injil maybe you can trust it at the Bible but, you but don't it's have not your Bible evidence. So it's you, not your Bible because he died before your Bible was created. No, I. And, he, and this is the whole point. That's why Jesus came to correct the Jews. Then, then Muhammad came to continue the message because what you've got is not what Jesus came with. We do, we do. The, the thing is, sir, I can ask you, if it, if the Bible is is not the Injil. Then how comes there is not even you don't even have a piece of paper with the Injil? That's what I don't know, right? So that's what I say. They have a, they the better authority than me. So I if have I the can... Bible. I have the Bible to present to you. Now this is the kind of contradiction amongst many. Yeah. Is that you know the the Quran says that there is an Injil and Torah. There is an Injil. It doesn't Torah, say it's it. corrupt. The, the it Quran say says it, yeah. the Quran says that Allah's word cannot be corrupted. Yeah. Right? But you cannot produce it. I can produce a Bible. You can't. Produce 
just but, but that's why you because got, it doesn't exist. But that's, but that's why you have the Quran and it's not corrupted. That's what what we have received, and we've been told this is a final, clear, uncorrupt. The thing is, the, it is see, corrupted see, and it has contradictions. I, sir. You see, if I have an answer for you about the Torah, where did it go? Who cooked it? When did it, you know? If I have an answer for everything, then I'm an illogical person mm. jumping to a religion and just taking it and believing in it. That's why I can tell you there are things I don't know. You need a better authority. And what I do know is that is, I have to be careful. That's why I went to Islam because it's, it's something for life. It is that your? Life. Is that? But is that your parents believed in this? Why is he asking me? I don't know what's going on. So the man we're teaching sex in the, the hadith here is he asking me, sir. Uh, you want to go for it? Abu Sa'id al Qutbi said the Apostle of Allah sent a military expedition to our task on the occasion of the Battle of Hunayn. They met their enemy and fought with them. They defeated them and took them captive. Some of the companions of Prophet Allah were reluctant to have sex with the female captives because of their pagan husbands. So Allah, He truly sent down the point first. You can take sex slaves in Islam. So now you're going to be a Bible. I don't know if your Bible is approved in the Bible.